Hello, lads and lasses. Hey, if you like today's lesson, then please become an ambulance driver and then take the injured or sick patient you pick up to the hospital only if they sign up for our classes. If they are unconscious, then I guess it's just too bad for them, as this would really help spread the good word. All right, everybody, today you are going to need a pencil, you're going to need an eraser, you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a sheet of paper and you're going to need one of these handouts that I uh, sent to you guys. All right. So first we are going to make a border. Let's do a half inch on the sides. So I'm going to zoom in, show you guys how to do a half inch. So the first line is right on the edge of the paper. Come on, focus. And then the half inch is halfway between the first line and the one. You do it again down here. Come on, focus. There we go. Half inch right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Put at a half inch right there. Nope, that's not a good lock. All right, focus. Nope. Jeez, the focus on this thing is awful. All right, and then we'll do another focus down here. All right, so then move this back up. And we'll have a half inch on the left side and the right side of this piece of paper. If we want this thing in the middle, we'll do. All right, how far is that? Two and a half inches. Okay, then we're going to come down two and a half inches. So I'm going to put the edge of the ruler right on there. And two and a half is halfway between the two and the three. And I'll make a mark. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Two and a half, halfway between the two and the three. And I'll make another mark right there. How about right there? Is that right? Yeah. We'll cross that one out. Do the same thing. Turn my paper around. And we'll zoom in. All right. Halfway between the two and the three. And halfway between the two and the three. Whoops. Let's get up there. All right. Halfway between the two and the three. All right. And then we'll make a line. So when I reach back, I should have a piece of paper that has a rectangle in the middle of it. And then I am going to take this and put it under and trace it. <clears throat> if I'm using copy paper, it should be pretty easy to see. Try to center it. And I'm going to trace it. I'm using light lines in case I need to erase. And then I'll speed up the rest of this. Okay, so I have lightly traced the... Come on, focus. All right, let's do a lock on that. All right, I have lightly traced the spheres, and then I'm going to put a line behind them. In fact, I'm going to do a ruler, I'll do a line, make it nice and straight. All right, so it looks like these two spheres are on a, um, a table, All right? 
All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to shade this sphere, these two spheres, to make it look like this one. Right? And um, so uh, this area right here is the highlight, and this area right here is called the core shadow. And this right here, area right here is the reflected light because the light comes down, bounces off the table, and goes back into the shadow. So we have some reflected light here. And then this area right here is called the cast shadow. All right, so um, what we're going to do first is because I'm right-handed, I'm going to go from upper left to lower right. And that will keep me from smudging as much. So uh, if we look right up here. And this background is really dark, so I'm going to make the background here very dark. So uh, I'm going to put the camera on uh, speed draw and we're just going to color in this background. And uh, I'm pushing down pretty hard right now and uh, going different directions and right up into the corner. Let's start in the upper left. Okay, I am going to stop there, and uh, so what I'm going to start working on uh, the, I'm going to do uh, this area right here. So I'm just going to do a fade from like a medium gray to a, uh, a, a light gray. All right, so over here, I'm just going from left to right and from top to bottom. So I'm just doing a light layer. And I'm just, I'm layering my pencil. So I'm shading in really light, 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 light. Really light. And I'm adding some more, I'm just staying a, a little bit over here. I'm still using a little light pressure going different directions. Very light pressure. And notice that I'm holding my pencil, let's see, I'm holding my pencil from the back of the pencil, not the front of the pencil. Over here, I was holding from the, like the middle part of the pencil or the front, all right, so I can really push down and make this dark. But I'm making this light and I just kind of want gravity to uh, take over. Light layers, light layers. And I'm spending more time in this little corner right here and not so much time in these other parts. And I make my pencil go in different directions. And there's just scribbles. I'm just doing scribble on top of scribble on top of scribble. And I'm just making it light light layer on top of light layer on top of light layer. All right. So that gives me, now is that as dark as that? I think I need to go a little bit darker. All right, so this time I'm gonna push just a little bit harder on my pencil. And notice that I'm 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 going over this line right here. All right, I my scribbles are going into the sphere, and that's okay. That's okay right now, because my sphere is going to be really dark over there. So it's okay if I do a little bit of scribbling over here.
All right, and just pushing a little bit harder over in this corner. And it's okay if I go outside the border too. Borders don't have to be perfect. All right, I think that's pretty good now. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna start on the sphere. So I'm gonna make that this area right here or kind of this area is gonna be the highlight and then everything else is gonna be in shadow. It's gonna go from light shadow to a heavy shadow to a medium shadow. So I'm going to make a, a very light line all around here, very, very lightly. I have, I don't know if you can see it, all right, but it's a very light line all the way around here. And then I'm just going to do everything here in shadow, very, very light shadow. And I'm even going to erase that line that I drew. And all of this is going to be in shadow. Very light. Very light. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I'm going to make this a little bit darker so I can see where I'm going. And over here, I can overlap. See, I'm going over, you know, I'm not staying inside the lines. I'm scribbling kind of, all right. But now I'm going to stay inside the line. I'm going to add a little bit more pressure right here. All right, let me look at my picture again. All right, now, there's almost kind of like this, uh, like, uh, uh, darker area. It's almost, I almost kind of see it like a triangle right here of darkness. All right, so I'm going to go a little bit lighter, or I mean, I'm sorry, heavier. I'm just, I'm just adding some more layers right here. This triangular area, and notice that there's no, there's always a fade. You know, it goes from light to medium to dark, but it's there's never a sudden change from light to dark. Now, right there, there's a sudden change from dark to light because it has this hard edge. But over here, it's a subtle change. So I want to make sure that I maintain that subtle change. I don't do anything really heavy just yet. So I'm just adding more layers and more layers. And I know it goes a little bit darker down here. So I'm going to add a little bit more layers down here. Making sure there's never a sudden change from a darker shade to a lighter shade. All right. And I'm going to go a little bit darker. So I'm pushing a little bit heavier on my picture, on my pencil. And ease up off the pressure as I go over here. Ease up off the pressure as I come over here. I want this and ease up off the pressure as I come up this way. And all right. Okay, so I and I noticed that it is darkest around this edge right here. So like from here to down here, it is darkest. So I'm gonna go ahead and go heavy over. I'm pushing down a lot heavier. And I'm gonna get that crisp line now. No more 
coloring, no more staying outside or uh, going outside the lines. Now I need to stay inside the line and ease up off the pressure as I come in. And make sure there's no sudden changes from one shade to another. Anytime I see a sudden change, I need to blur that out by scribbling lightly over it. All right, I need to start making it even darker over here. So I'm pushing now a little bit heavier. And I need to get, I'm using a light pressure over here. And just take a step back, see how it's progressing. So this area right here is a little bit too light. So I need to start adding more to this area. And if I'm looking at my drawing, I need to go more or darker over here. And even darker still, I'm pushing pretty hard right here. And it, it's really dark right here. And it gets darker up in here. I need to make this darker. But it gets kind of light down here. I'm going to do a little bit of erasing down here because it goes kind of really light. All right, and it gets, I need to make it darker over here. I think it's beginning to look like the sphere in the photo. I want to keep this light area down here and I'm going, I'm erasing kind of like in circles, all right? 
and and I was using a light pressure. I wasn't really like trying to. I wasn't trying to erase all of it. I was just trying to pick up some of the uh, graphite that was on the paper. Okay, and one thing I want you to notice in this photo, behind it, it's lighter than there, right? That's darker, that's lighter. And in mine, that's darker and that's darker. And there, you really can't see the sphere right here. So I'm going to use my eraser. And it's not really picking up much. Let's see if we can try to pick up. I'm using a little bit more pressure, All right, cleaning off the eraser down there. And I should have thought of this beforehand. That's all right. So, all right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to color that back in, but I'm going to go a little bit softer over here. back in All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of very lightly kind of take back the edge of this and have the highlight in here. All right, just very lightly bring up some of that. All right, now we're going to go to, I'm going to go from left to right and top to bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing over here and this. Yes. 
All right, now down here, I'm going to make this darker. And I'm going to do just a little bit. I'm using very light pressure. Very light pressure. And easing off the pressure as I go towards the right. And I'm going to do a little bit heavier pressure here. And easing off the pressure as I go this way. And I'm going to have a little bit more of a shadow down here. A little bit darker down there. So I just want to do like kind of like a medium gray over here to a white. And I'm going to do a little bit heavier gray right here that fades to white. All right, and then I'm going to do a heavy line right around here. And then all of this is going to be heavy, dark. So I can push down really hard on this. And I want to go different directions. I don't want all these pencil lines to have the same direction. I'm going to erase that little mistake right there. Well, I made a mistake. Let's see if I can fix that. All right. All right, and then very lightly, I'm just going to do some erasing scribbles. I'm just using scribbles right here. All right, and then right here, I'm going to do just a medium kind of uh, shading to light. And get lighter as I go down. Go different directions. And here I can overlap. It's okay. And I'm just going to use my eraser and just doing a very light scribbles. I'm leaving a lot of the lines there, but I'm just going to make some scribbles. All right. And then over here, I'm going to make this very dark.
So I'm just going to go pitch black. This is the cast shadow. And I'm going to give it just a little bit of a fuzz around it. So I'm just doing doing like kind of like a light shading around that shape because in the photograph, it's a little bit fuzzy. And even out here, it gets, you know, I just do some light and medium pressure shading all around it. All right. And then down here in the corner, I'm going to make this medium. So I'm easing off, off my pressure as I go up. Just want to have these, these four corners are going to be darker. Not dark, but darker. And I'm just going to do a very, I'm going to get sharp on the pencil. All right, now I'm using very light pressure and just doing scribbles all around. I'm making my pencil go different directions. And over here, some more. And then down here, I'm going to go a little bit heavier. Very lightly, uh, just different kinds of scribbles going every which direction, using a little bit more pencil down here in this corner. There's a little bit more definition right here, a little bit more definition. Oh, yeah, we need to do the shadow there. Yep. That's what was missing. Make that nice and pitch black. Pitch black. All right, more shadow.
All right, I think that is it. That's how we draw a sphere, All right? All right, that's it for today. And until next time, be a little art factory. <laughs>